Hey everyone on YouTube, got something kind of neat to show you. I just uh, saw a video of one of these and decided to try and make one myself. This is a homopole or monopole um, electromagnetic motor. Now, um, basically, what it consists of is a battery, a metal coated neodymium. Ba uh, magnet and a conductive non-magnetic wire. I personally am using a uh, solder so just Rosencore solder. It's a uh, non-magnetic like here's some more neodymium and I can touch it all I want and it's not gonna do anything but it is definitely um, conductive so, let's see this thing in action. And there it goes. Now, mine is kind of crude. I threw it together in about five minutes. Um, I'll try to explain what's going on here to the best of how I understand it. Uh, hopefully all of you know what an electromagnet is. If you don't, I'll give you just a basic description basically when a current goes through a conductive surface it creates a magnetic field uh, that's what a basic of an electromagnetic is uh, electromagnet is so the current is currently going through the solder uh, it's coming out to the bottom going to the positive as electrons are what's moving so it's always neg negative to positive and this creates an electromagnetic field now under normal circumstances that wouldn't do anything for example these magnets here obviously have a very strong magnetic field but they're not moving what you need is another force to act upon that where it comes in the neodymium magnet on the bottom the neodymium magnet on the bottom is creating a magnetic force that pushes against this magnetic force. That's why this one moves. Now, you'll see it kind of bouncing around. It's because the contacts that I've made for it are really crude, <laughs> if anything at best. But each time that these bottom contacts here complete the circuit and current shoots through the wire, that magnetic force field, the electromagnetic field, instantly becomes present. And that pushes against the constant magnetic field of the neodymium magnet, causing it to push the wire. Kind of neat and almost creepy. <laughs> um, the way I keep this balance is I actually took a screwdriver and a hammer and um, created an indention on the top of the battery so that it has a spot to kind of balance on. And I can assure you there's no wind or anything. See? No wind at all. Nothing's blowing on it. If I stop it, it's not making any contact. And if I touch one of these, well, there we go. Basically, I haven't made the contacts at the bottom uh, thin enough. Now, I've seen some of these things get ridiculously fast. Uh, of course, if you use, you know, copper wire, um, which holds its shape better than, you know, this extremely soft solder wire, you can get some pretty crazy designs. So, go ahead and check out some videos, and if you like one of these, you should definitely try this at home. It's a lot of fun. Just make sure that you don't short circuit your battery. You don't want the uh, contacts to be left in place too long or you might overheat it. All right. Trying to make this a little bit more efficient. But all I'm doing is creating more friction. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, oh well. You get the idea. Well, YouTube, have a good one.